start off this video, we're going to quickly go over some of the things that we kind of do know about this upcoming massive multiplayer online role playing game set to take place in Tolkien's universe. And later on in the video, we'll have some speculation fun and maybe bring in some token lore into the discussion. If you guys want, at the end of this video, check out my vocal cover of Misty Mountains Deep. I'll put a link to that directly below. A the pines were roaring. Throughout the video, I'm going to show gameplay of some of the various old Lord of the Rings games, whether it be for PS2, GameCube, PS3, or I might even show the current MMO called Lord of the Rings Online. Lord of the Rings Online is not really current, though. It came out 13 years ago, and it was never anything as big as like World of Warcraft, but it still has a player base, and it was kind of a cool game. I didn't end up playing it too long. I'm not sure if it was because life got in the way or I didn't like it. I can't really remember, but this MMO coming out in the future should have nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings Online. So some of the gameplay that you see, don't get excited. None of it is actual gameplay footage of the upcoming MMO. No gameplay footage has been released and it probably won't be released anytime soon. All right, let's get right into it. So in 2018, a newly formed company called Athlon Games revealed their partnership with Middle Earth Enterprises. Athlon is a new subsidiary company of Leiu Technologies, which is a Hong Kong based company focused on free to play console and PC games. Athlon's headquarters, however, are based out of LA, London, and Beijing. Then in July of this year, 2019, Athlon announced a collaboration with Amazon Game Studios. This is great, guys. Amazon is trying to make a strong initial impression for their entrance into the gaming world, and I feel like they will not be shy with putting money and resources towards making their games or any games with their name on it the best quality that it can possibly be. It's important to make a good first impression, and Amazon does not lack the money or resources to do so. So if we go to Athlon's website, the first thing that poops up is literally in my notes right here. I don't know why it actually says poops and whatever. The first thing that pops up is a map of Middle Earth. That's a good sign that this game is actually happening. If we go under their about section, we can read Athlon's three approaches towards their games. One is that their games will be built to last, which is very important for any MMO. Two, quality is in our DNA. A good thing to know. And three, community first, meaning they believe in the community's input as well. Good qualities to have for a gaming company. Not much to back them qualities up yet, so I guess we should give them the benefit of the doubt and trust in them until they break our trust. Hopefully they don't. So we are told that this will be a PC and a console game. Yay. That is super exciting. Not only do you give your game an opportunity to be much larger, it's just pretty cool that developers are now designing massive games like MMOs for consoles as well. Many people out there have never truly experienced an MMO because they, for the most part, are PC only. And let's face it, not everyone has the money or even wants to deal with having a PC setup. Consoles are just easy and convenient, not to mention a huge population of the gaming community. So it's sweet to think that everyone will be able to participate in this game. So the larger pool of players that a game is able to grab people from ultimately leads to a game becoming bigger, which means more money to the parent company. If the parent company is a good company, they will put a lot of that money and resources back into the game to give you DLCs, just make a better game in general, and add more longevity. Right, back to Amazon. Amazon posted a job opening looking for a senior game artist who will work with the art director for our upcoming MMO Lord of the Rings game. I like seeing all these things that confirm that it is actually happening. It's also said that they have many veteran game developers all the way from EverQuest to Destiny to World of Warcraft. That's good to know because Amazon Game Studios doesn't really have any games out that we can judge them on and Athlon is also a new company. So it's nice to hear that some of these veteran game developers from successful MMOs will be able to kind of guide this project and really give their input on their past experience. This game is being built on the Lumberyard engine, which Amazon is also using for their other upcoming games. Guys, Amazon is not short on money. There's no crowdfunding going on here. This engine is probably sick and top of the line. That's the great thing about AAA titles is that you know they do not lack the resources to be able to create the best quality game possible. Doesn't mean every AAA game is good because we all know that many of them are not, but if you have a good team of veteran developers from successful MMOs working with this top of the line equipment, that means good things. Now let's not forget the upcoming Lord of the Rings TV series Amazon is also creating for an estimated 2021 release. The Lord of the Rings hype is back, baby, and I love it. I was obsessed with Tolkien's world when I was younger, and it feels damn good to start feeling excited once again like I did before. I remember back when I was in high school and middle school, and I was obsessed with Lord of the Rings. It wasn't the cool thing to do, and everybody made fun of you. Now all of a sudden, Game of Thrones comes out, and yippee-yay, it's cool to love dragons and medieval things. 
guess what, ladies? If you're watching and you're from my high school, you guys missed out on a good catch. I was ahead of the times. Well, it had nothing to do with my World of Warcraft addiction. But considering that the show is set to be released in 2021, or rumored to be, I think we can guess that this game will be released probably around that time, or in a year or two after. It only makes sense for Amazon to go off their hype from the show and get everyone to then buy the video game. Alright, if we go back to Athlon's website, they let us know a couple things. On their news page, they say that they are creating a completely new experience for fans of the landmark fantasy work of J.R.R. Tolkien. Which is cool, I'm not sure exactly what that means, but we will speculate on it in a few. Right above this, we can read that they say this game will take place at a time long before the events of Lord of the Rings, and that we will be exploring lands, people, and creatures never before seen by fans of the Tolkien universe. Hmm. Never before seen. Does that mean they are creating entirely new creatures and lands? Or are they basically saying that we will be going deeper into the Tolkien lore than the mainstream Lord of the Rings and Hobbit stuff that most of us have seen? Maybe a little of both. I'm sure Athlon and Amazon have plenty of restrictions on them in terms of what they can and cannot create in Tolkien's world. Like I'm sure they can't have you fight in Gondor and then reach a giant vampire boss or something like that. But it will be interesting to see how much of a creative twist Amazon and Athlon are able to put on it. When games and movies come out based on a book, usually the authors are very strict on what the movie or game is allowed to do, but as time goes on, authors typically get more lenient and maybe care a little less or simply just want more money or want their general work to get more people involved. Tolkien has obviously been dead for over 45 years now, RIP, which then leaves his works in the arms of his sons, or son I'm not sure, who are either dead or really old now as well, which then leaves their original work in the hands of the company that owns it or publishing company, whatever, which over time that company wants more money and is willing to let the lore be used by other companies for exciting new projects. So we read new lands and on another article it states that it will be an immersive game experience for epic exploration of the vast world of Tolkien. So they do emphasize Middle Earth a lot, but for those of you who do not know, there is more to the world than just Middle Earth. The Earth in Tolkien's universe is called Arda, and Middle Earth is just a northern continent on it. There are other continents, if I can remember correctly, called Amon, which is the undying lands that Frodo sells to at the end of The Return of the King, and the Darklands, and also various islands such as Numenor, which ultimately sank in the sea during the Second Age within The Lord of the Rings. Numenor is referred to as the Lost Civilization, all this might come into play for this MMO. It would be very cool to sail to the Undying Lands and actually be able to see where Frodo and Gandalf left to when we were all crying at the end of the Return of the King. But with that said, they did say Middle Earth like a hundred times, so I think we can expect that the main area will be that, or at least a huge part of the game will be Middle Earth. I just don't know how we will be able to see new lands without them digging deeper into Tolkien's universe, and I'm not sure if they would be allowed to create entirely new continents or islands. I'm thinking no. Alright, now let's talk about the time frame that this game might take place in, in relation to the Lord of the Rings trilogy. They said, in quotations, set in a time long before the events of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. So Lord of the Rings takes place in the Third Age of Arda. The Fourth Age started when the One Ring was destroyed and was known as the Age of Men. We can remember that from the end of the Lord of the Rings movies or books, that was the start of the Fourth Age. Now Amazon's upcoming Lord of the Rings TV series is said to take place during the Second Age, which is when Sauron forges the Rings of Power. This age starts with the banishment of Morgoth, who was the Dark Lord during the First Age, and the rise of Sauron, who we all know from the Lord of the Rings trilogy. The Ring Race were also created during this time, and the early wars of the Rings between Sauron and the Elves began. Also during this age was the rise of Numenor, the island that we mentioned earlier, which was a kingdom of men which eventually sank into the depths of the sea. The island is located between Middle-earth and the continent of Amman, the Undying Lands. Men during this age ultimately also created Gondor and Arnor in Middle-earth. So the Second Age was pretty cool, and we can recognize a lot of events in that age that directly relate to the Lord of the Rings trilogy later on in the Third Age. The TV series is set to take place during this age. it will be pretty cool. Now the First Age is when the Highborn Elves waged a war against Morgoth, who was the current Dark Lord at the time. They battle over possession of jewels in this case, which have the light of the two trees, which during the dawn of time lit up the universe, we won't get too much into that. Sauron is a shape changer during this age and helps out Morgoth. Pretty sweet. The first age ends in a big battle in which the Valar combine together, I'll tell you what the Valar are in a minute, and join with the elves and men to defeat Morgoth with his armies of orcs and trolls, etc., which is similar to what we saw with Sauron's army in the third age. At the end, Morgoth is ultimately banished from the physical plane and the second age begins. The Valar, for anyone who do not know, are basically like the powers of Arda. 
They entered Arda after it was created and were there to give order to the new world. Something like that. Basically, they were like the gods or maybe better called angels. How cool would it be to have some of that lore in the upcoming game? So when will the game take place? As we said earlier, they said long before the events of Lord of the Rings. So long before the events of Lord of the Rings, does that mean before the Rings of Power were created? Or could it even be before then? We could essentially say that the mainstream events of Lord of the Rings, as most people know, are from the Hobbit and the trilogy. Bilbo came into existence around 2890 in the Third Age, and Frodo left Middle-earth at the end of the Third Age in 3021. But I think it's safe to say that from 2890 to 3021 in the Third Age, the game will be well before that. What does well before that mean? The Second and Third Age are so long, thousands of years, it could really be any time during these periods, and the First Age can't be completely ruled out either. If the game actually holds true to the Lord of the Rings specific name, then we should expect the Rings of Power to be around somewhere in the game. The Rings came into existence in the Second Age in the 1500s, including the one ring to rule them all, which was around 1600, I think. Talking about the Second Age specifically, that leaves us with the Rings of Power being created around 1500, all the way to the end of the Second Age when Isildur cut the one ring to rule them all off Sauron's hand. And we can't forget the first 1800 years of the Third Age before Bilbo was born could also be considered long before the events of Lord of the Rings. Interesting to think about. But who really knows, maybe the game will take place during the First Age or the first half of the Second Age before the Rings of Power, and Amazon is just calling it a Lord of the Rings MMO, so it is a title that people can relate and recognize and understand. Probably smart to advertise with the Lord of the Rings name, at least initially, versus the name of something that most of the mainstream crowd has never heard of. I'm sure once we get a trailer, we will actually be able to decipher the time much easier. I'm personally hoping for the time frame to be around the 1500s of the Second Age because it will be nice to be able to be familiar with some of the things going on, where if the game was based in the First Age or early on in the Second Age, I probably wouldn't know shit. But honestly, either way, I don't care, I just want to be in Tolkien's world with thousands of other players raiding dungeons and playing Capture the Flag on Helm's Deep. LOL. If you guys enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I do plan on staying updated with all the upcoming news of the Lord of the Rings MMO, so it'd be great to see some of you guys come back in a future video. I do many different types of videos on this channel, including comedy videos, game reviews, tutorials, and live streams, so I'm sure there's something for everyone. Appreciate it, guys, and enjoy the hype of what is to come with this Lord of the Rings MMO. I'll see you guys on the next one.